<coughs> for the second part of the uh, exam is to ask you compare uh, see whether there is an association between the protein interaction degrees and the genetic interacting degrees and so basically we want to say is the number of protein interaction is the genes na uh, number of protein interaction correlated with the number its number of genetic interactions so in this case we have to put uh, both uh, protein interaction data, which is the pairs of CSV, and the genetic interaction data in the same directory, and the same directory where my script is. This is uh, my script is called compare PIN, GIN, and key.r. So remember always to set a working directory to the source file location, and if we run not. And so, uh, uh, so now I uh, read into my pairs, uh, and then I read into the genetic interaction, pairwise interaction data, and like we have discussed in the class, we can calculate the number of uh, protein interaction per gene and put into a data frame. And here I put in the data frame after the table, use the table command to calculate the number of interaction per gene. And likewise, we can do this uh, for genetic interaction. So, yeah. so now we have two uh, spreadsheets, GIN, genetic interaction data for, which have IDs that are uh, for uh, systematic name for the genes and G degree for genetic interaction degree and we also have PIN that is protein interaction network again the IDs are uh, systematic names for G and the P degree for protein interaction degrees so um, we need to do linear regression between the P degree and the, the G degree well they are in two different uh, spreadsheet and we cannot run the linear regression command on them. So we need to use the match function and merge them into the same uh, spread, uh, spreadsheet. So here I, I match uh, the PIN into GIN uh, to protein uh, IDs match to gene IDs so after this match, those are the position in the genetic interaction network. And then I take the genetic interaction degree from the GIN, now assign it back into PIN. And after we run this, you will see this time the PIN will have both protein interaction degree and the genetic interaction degree. In fact, we can even verify whether it is correct or not. So we know uh, this one should be 2222 is organic difference. So we go back to GIN and see, yes, that's indeed the case. And the first one is missing, so that's not available. And 004 should be 10. 004 indeed is 10. So, okay, we can verify the rest of them. Then we can apply a linear regression for this. And even apply uh, uh, to a plot. Uh, the data doesn't look, uh, the point doesn't look like the normal distribution, so we can take a log transformation and re redo the analysis to uh, improve the result or not. Uh, a slightly uh, better result, but that doesn't make any uh, qualitative change. Although the R squared seem to be much improved, but it is still considered a very weak correlation. It is a weak, but it's actually <coughs> highly significant. So basically, this way it says uh, for proteins with more direct uh, protein interactions, it also tend to have a more genetic interaction. Although uh, overall, this is a, 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 a this association only counts for 3% of the sample variation.